Hey guys, this is Tolhe and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft Season 2 Part 2. Um, so I have moved my bed down there. I sort of dug out a little cubby for it. Um, because you guys have informed me uh, about a couple of things. First off, the bed needs to be not touching any walls and has to have two blocks above it in order for it to actually reset my spawn point. Um, and number two, uh, other big point that was given to me was I don't use meat to tame wolves, I need bones. So on my list of things that I need to get, I need to get some bones from some zombies, um, or some bones from some zombies, some bones from some skeletons uh, in order to tame wolves. I have to get string from some spiders to make my first bow, and I think the biggest one is uh, diamond. I need to get some diamond to make start crafting some diamond tools, and uh, if I find enough diamond, maybe diamond armor. Um, Okay, so I've got a couple of these picks. Um, let's, let's, let's see here. Well, I've got enough coal now. I think I can actually use that to use on this iron. Um, and then I think I'm just going to go start doing some branch mining. Yeah. I could gather some more wood, I think, but I, don't, I should have enough sticks for a bit. So I'm going to make a couple more... Uh, uh, stone picks and I'm going to go start doing some branch mining so I'll start recording again when I find a cavern or if I find some diamond um, shoot, I think I missed that I just got the uh, achievement though for uh, making iron so achievements um, just got the iron one so I smelted some iron so it gave me that achievement and we found our first chunk of diamond behind some coal here um, so just to show you what I've done so far um, there was some coal in here too and I dug all that out I just sort of dug a little bit that way turned around dug a little bit this way jumped over the redstone because I didn't want to waste my iron pick on it and then da -da, diamond so that didn't even take that long to find um, I should really dig all around this though first before I uh, go digging that out in case of lava behind it okay so let's just dig out all around the side of it. Hope it's more than just one piece. Oh, two. Come on, third. Oh, we're not looking good. Some dirt there. If we get three, then I'll be able to make a diamond pick. No, it's not looking very good for that. Alright, two is still a fair amount of diamond, though better than nothing. Um, I can still probably dig around a little more though. So let's just check. Yeah, I'm going to say there's no more. I think I would have seen it by now. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's just two pieces. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep going back to digging. Okay, and we're back up here. Um, just want to take a moment and just show where what I've got. So I've gathered a bunch of cobblestone, got 57 redstone, got a ton of coal now, um, and I've also got uh, quite a bit of iron. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch over and start using um, iron picks for all of this branch mining because it's going to be faster and I think I've gotten enough iron to justify it. So I just wanted to quickly stop for a second and just show you where I'm at um, in between all of this mining. I just I, I feel that most people don't enjoy the tedious mining of all of this like it like mining is just like hitting blocks repetitively until something happens. And so I I'm right now I'm cutting out most of the stuff that's happening except diamond, because I don't think finding redstone or iron is really that interesting. I'm gonna stick it you know what, I'm just gonna put half of that in there and then I'm gonna turn this into planks and then turn those planks shoot mess that up uh, into more sticks yeah that should be good um, and then I'm gonna do my auto walk technique where I hit I W and I at the same time it triggers a glitch where it thinks I'm holding W down excellent auto walk technique and then I'm gonna run back down these stairs and continue branch mining um, 
I've actually started building branches now rather than just going s in a straight line. Um, and then we hit I to stop again. Okay, so I got one branch there, and I'm starting another branch there, and that goes down a ways. So I'm going to start digging here again, and uh, cut back once I find uh, some more diamond. So, interesting. I hear a spider, and I think it's coming from this general direction. So I'm going to just start digging towards the spider. Still coming from this direction. Um... Hmm. Yeah, because if I can find this spider, I'll be able to find a cavern. Yeah, that sounds like it's either right above me or below me. I hate digging up. I think that's it there. Hello, spider. Can't reach it from here. Okay. I don't think it can get me from down here. I should be safe. Where are you too, spider? Oh, I see some gold up there. I think I'm still safe from it landing on me, maybe? I hear a couple actually, I think. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, kn I knew I shouldn't have went up there, but I did it. Anyways! Ah! Get away! Get away! I didn't bring any meat with me. Oh, zombies. Oh god. Oh god. I think I'm safe now. Oh. Man, it's been a long time since I've played Minecraft like this. Oh, some diamond. Uh, some of that blue stuff that I can't remember the name of. Excellent. Oh. I hear a lot more guys. Oh, man, it's been so long since I've played. I'm not used to this anymore. I'm actually getting, like, cold chills from the sound of those zombies. I remember when I last, like, at the end of the first season, as I was, like, getting tired of this, I would just, like, fight these mobs and they didn't scare me at all. I was just so used to it. But it's been so long since I've sort of done this that it's sort of scary again. Which is really awesome. I never thought I would have this sort of feeling towards Minecraft again, where it's sort of like you're digging and you're scared. Because by the, by the end of the first season there, I really was just, like whatever it's just a zombie and then I would just kill it oh, I'm so rusty okay um, let's get some of this blue stuff Ooh, it's a lot of that blue stuff it's actually kind of dangerous for me to be here because like I said I don't have I didn't bother cooking any of that ham I'm really not that prepared for combat right now um, I think I'm gonna try and get that diamond yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get that diamond and then head back up and sort of stock up on meat. Oh shoot, lost my light source. Wow, I hear a lot of guys around. Okay. like another whole cavernous er area up there um yeah i'm gonna head back up and maybe try and gather some leather or iron armor or something and get some meat and then try heading back down here and then explore that cavern section okay and we're back up in our small base camp here i've put in a lot of stuff in this chest but i'm sort of at a point now where i could almost use another chest um, start getting some food here. It's nighttime right now, so 
I think I'm actually going to rest. And then probably go out and gather a little bit of wood. Okay. Don't hear anything dying, though. Um, let's actually get out all of this. And I'm going to make a couple more furnaces. Just to speed up this uh, cooking process. Let's go with three. And then put down one there. And then dig out this section a little bit. And put another two down there. Okay. And half. And half of that. And half. And another 13 in there. Okay, now I can start rapidly cooking all this meat um, like so okay and now let's head outside and go gather some wood um, I'm gonna leave the trees uh, actually no I was gonna say I want to leave these trees here but it's sort of making this area sort of more sheltered where enemies could be hiding when I come out so I'm actually going to dig up these trees um, and gather some more wood here. Okay, it's nine. And those trees are fine where they are. But I am going to get rid of some of the... I want to get rid of all the trees on the top of this one here. So I'm actually going to grab this flint and a piece of iron and make a flint and steel and then head up to the top and just burn these trees to the ground because what's happening here is this area this is a lot of really dense trees um, and I think this darkness is dark enough that zombies could actually hide and then or any other monster so when I come out of my base they could be waiting for me in this darkness even during the day which would be bad I'm not positive that that would happen, but even if there's a small chance that that could happen, I, I want to get rid of this darkness. I'm just busily chopping away wood here. I've gotten a lot of logs, but I just sort of wanted to show this sort of nice little view here from this tree. Oh, oh no, the leaves are dissipating. Get it back in, get back in. That was close. Um, actually not at all, really. But yeah, sort of this nice little tree area up here. Um, but this will all get burned down. I could make some sort of tree house out of this, but honestly, I'm just more concerned about making it so there's no darkness right now. Okay, so I've gathered uh, the majority of the logs out of these trees. So let's just get rid of them. Um, simply because... Oh. Get myself beat up here. I'm just gonna use this other piece of meat. Um, yeah, now I don't have to worry about things coming down and attacking me. Yeah, because this, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure a skeleton or a zombie could have survived under there. Just gonna smash this leaf as well. Some more logs and trees down there. I'm gonna try and carefully drop. Down oh shoot! Just grab a couple more of these items, and then how do I get back up? Guess I can just dig here. Yeah, I also made an iron um, axe just so it'll last longer. I seem to have enough iron lying around that it's not really a big deal at this point. Okay, so now this area is clear. Cool. Um, and now I have more logs to continue. Um, and you know what? I think I'm going to make a diamond sword first. Because um, I'm going to probably be doing a bunch of combat down there. And I have enough sort of iron that I can kind of get by with iron picks. And then I'm going to take uh, three pieces. Oh. Three pieces of meat with me. Uh, put and then leave three here because yeah that one's still cooking so we'll leave those three there and take three with us and then I need some more torches 
uh, 52 excellent and then I'm gonna make a couple more workbenches and store some of this stuff that I don't really need to be carrying with me um, like this excess amount of picks right now and the pumpkins and then I'm gonna probably dig out uh, let's dig out a little cubby hole here to start putting chests yeah just like this and we'll put a chest down here okay so now I don't need all of this wood and lumber with me don't need all these excess picks uh, I don't need that no oh, hold on to the stone sword in case uh, that stuff is fine uh, put the dirt in there the gold in there the string in there actually let's take out some of this wood and make some more sticks actually I don't think I need it anymore I only need it three and we'll make our first bow that way if I find any arrows down there I'll be able to use them um, right and that should be good and if I really want to I could make some iron armor that would leave me with five iron remaining yeah I'm gonna make some iron armor just for a little bit of defense here oh I don't need all these trees either or the pumpkins everything else I don't mind hanging on to this might be good building materials to get across gaps and such um, and then yeah I probably shouldn't be carrying that one diamond around seeing as I'm not using it okay um, I think I'm ready to go sort of explore that cavern next time oh cliffhanger um, yeah we're gonna oh, close that door we're gonna stop here for now um, and then in part three we'll go down and explore that cavern and see what there is to find in there uh, so for now, this is Tolhi signing out. Uh, later, guys.